All right, some news from across the borders now, and Uhuru Kenyatta is among, or rather I should say President Uhuru Kenyatta is among the leaders who were in Kampala for the uh, seventh inauguration of Yoweri Museveni as President of Uganda. And um, the uh, Western countries have been attacked over what he says is a tendency to interfere and lecture Uganda and Africa about governance and democracy. Herbert Ziwa was present at the Kololo ceremonial grounds and he now files this report. Hi. Eleven thirty four AM Yoweri Kaguta Museven takes his seventh oath as president of Uganda, which will now stretch his rule to forty years. That I will be faithful and bear the true allegiance to the Republic of Uganda and that I will preserve, protect and defend the constitution. So help me God. Chief Justice Alfonso Winyidolo, Electoral Commission Chairperson Justice Simon Biabakama, and the Head of Public Service John Mitala administered the oath. The instruments of power. One by one. Shortly after, Museven was handed the instruments of power, including the Constitution, National Flag, Anthem, and the instruments of the National Defense, among others. Eleven African heads of state, Vice President Edward Chonuka Sekandi, former Prime Minister John Patrick Amama Mbabazi, religious and cultural leaders witnessed the swearing-in. Despite the attendance of former presidential candidates John Katumba and Fred Mwesije, no recognition was made of their presence. In his first address, Museven launched a direct attack against Western powers, whom he accused of undermining African democracy. For Museveni, it is the regional and continental unity of Africa that will safeguard Africa from Western interference and lectures. Therefore, quite comic and laughable to hear of some actors in the world giving, giving us lectures about democracy. You give me lecture about democracy? What are your own credentials? We neither seek nor need any approbation from anybody outside Uganda, except our peers in the African Union and NEPAD. If you want to know what we are doing in a respectful way, we can share with you. Museven also revealed a plan he had with former President of South Africa, Jacob Ozuma, to confront the French and American forces when they invaded Libya to overthrow Colonel Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. However, some actors are always in sight of enemies. They are looking for enemies. You are not an enemy, they declare you an enemy. When we are still fighting, are you pro-East or pro-West? Idiot! I am pro-Africa. Uganda has been accused by Western powers, especially the U.S. of failing to conduct free and fair elections and violating the rights of Ugandans especially those opposed to the regime, without giving an account of the promises he made when he swore in five years ago. The president focused on economic recovery and poverty eradication programs initiated by his government. A center of political and strategic gravity for the African race is what Museven has called it as he advocated for the regional and continental integration of Africa for bigger markets and also the common market of the African continent. Habad Ziwa, NTV here at Kololo. All right, some strong words there from M7.